Well, that was our Select party, and it was Alia with Try Again. And very welcome to Select. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you. And I just must say that you look stunning in the video, of course, in real life as well. But it's just a fantastic video. It's really, really nice. But those, those are the lowest trousers I've seen ever a woman yeah. wore. <laughs> Could those trousers be you worn any lower? No, they couldn't. <laughs> they were right at the limit. <laughs> nice, though. Thank you. Uh, Romeo and Star, uh, after, I haven't seen the film because it's not out here. Mm -hmm. uh, we get films a bit late. We're still on Mission Impossible 1. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, I've seen the trailer. It looks amazing, and I've always been a big fan of Jet Li. Uh, tell us a bit about the film. Well, Romeo Must Die is a bit of a Romeo and Juliet story in a way. Um, it's about two crime families, mm -hmm. an Asian family, African American family, mm -hmm. and they're warring over territories and just power and control. And um, my character is Trisha Day, daughter of the head of the black family, and Jet is son of the head of the Asian family. So you're kind of the Juliet. The Juliet, he's the Romeo in a way, and uh, we we don't approve of the whole lifestyle, try to separate ourselves, but we still get caught up in it. And it's just an amazing action film with love, drama, comedy. It's yeah. Fun ride. And it's, I mean, Jill Silver, you can't go wrong with that. I Came mean, and it's your first feature debut. Yes. And must have felt pretty lucky to get all that oh, in one package. Very blessed. I mean, he's the king of action. Yeah. Felt very comfortable in his hands. Um, having Jet and Delroy Lindo, amazing cast around me. Did you have to learn the wushu style? I had to train for one month. The drunken month. master. Oh, sort of no. Stuff. I wasn't lucky enough to get to learn all that hot stuff. But I have one scene where Jet uses me as a weapon to. Uses you as a weapon. Uses me as a weapon to hit a girl because he can't oh hit God. women. So, um, and I didn't want to use a stunt double. It's all me flipping around and everything, so I had to train for that. It's cool. Using you as a weapon. Yeah. Fantastic. You gotta see that. Um, if you haven't seen any of the clips, here it is. It's amazing. Have a look at this. Sorry, Romeo. I'm taking your most valued asset. That was a mistake. Of course, you know, after a line like that, Jet Li will open up a kung fu kind of whoop ass on who that guy is. Uh, so that was fun to make. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, what, what, what is harder, walking into a studio and singing a song or walking on a film set and doing that? Well, they're, they're two different things. They both require a lot of work and a lot of uh, discipline. Mm. But um, it's different, of course, you know, being another person. I had to be Trisha Day. I had to... Get in, get into her, and bring her to life. So it's totally different than going in the studio and just being Ali and singing behind the mic. So it's a different thing. Kind of hard to compare. Right. Okay. We'll be talking to Ali more. But, yes, uh, we saved us. We but we're gonna go to number three, which is Andreas Johnson and the games we play. That was our number three, the gorgeous Andreas Johnson with the games we play, and we have the very lovely Ali still in the studio with us. Now we're gonna go back. Go back. Yeah. Uh, back in time. Um, because you're an actress now as well as a singer, all around entertainer. Uh, but of course, a lot of people remember you from back in 1994. Mm -hmm. uh, with this song, Back and Forth, let's have a look. Oh, no. Just a little bit. <laughs> Was that good so, for you? How do you feel? <laughs> I like you just it. Like the illest. I haven't seen that video in ages, and it's just like. Oh, See, but so this, this, is the, this is the thing that I wanted to talk about, because that was in 1994, about six years ago. Yeah. And you were 14 when you put that out. 15. 14, 15. Because mm -hmm. so, these days you got Britney Spears and Manny Moore, and they're all 15, 16, yeah. and it's no big deal. But back then, six years ago, it was a big that deal. It was a big deal, yeah. It was a big deal. Yeah? So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it was, yeah. That's why we titled the album Age Nothing But a Number, because mm -hmm. we didn't want people to really concentrate on the age and not look at me as a bubblegum type mm -hmm. of artist and, you know, take me seriously. So it was, it was, it was different back in 94. Big. All right, we're going to have a break. We're coming back with more of Selecting. Aaliyah. Hello there, and very welcome back from the break. And we still have Alia in the studio. Yes. Now, we have some uh, questions from all our uh, viewers in Europe. So we're going to start by going to France, I think. So here's the question from France. Which three things would you take to a lonely island? So which three things would you take to a lonely island? I would take... Back and forth a video. <laughs> <laughs> I would take back and forth a video. No, I'd take... Um, Steve Wonder CD. Okay. I would then have to take a CD Walkman, so that's Oh, uh, no, don't, don't bother me. <laughs> like, oh, well, if I bring a video, yeah, then I have to take a TV. But I need a power and a source. VCR, so yeah. there's three things. No, okay, well, I'd have to take Steve Wonder CD. Mm -hmm. I take a really cute bathing suit. 
Who's going to see you with a Lonely <laughs> Island woman? It's just for me. It's just for just me. So you, you know, know you, you know, this little girl thing. I was like, we yeah, just yeah. want to feel good. So I take exactly. really cute Gucci bathing suit. <laughs> yeah. And I would I'm running take... butt naked on the thing like Blue Lagoon. You know? <laughs> see me now. With leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the third thing, I would take, um, oh my gosh, I don't know, lip gloss. That's just for me. Gloss. I'm a girl. So most people exactly. say, I'll take Kiki, someone. you understand. <laughs> yeah. So it won't be lonely. <laughs> The, the special eight-hour cream. You know, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, got, I got that too. That's right. You know some stuff. Okay, we're gonna go to Belgium now. Who was the last person you kissed? The last person. Close your mouth, girl. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like wow. Okay. The last person I kissed. Well, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. But um. <laughs> I kissed my mommy goodbye before I came on this trip. You're lying. On the, on the cheek. Oh, That's the last person I kissed. It's the truth. <laughs> yeah, the, with that laugh <laughs> after it. Mm. That's the last person I kissed my mommy. That's okay. sweet. Okay, yeah, that's really sweet. We're going to go to Britney Spears now. She's at number two. She's... Oops, I did it again. Hey. Number, number one again. One. Yes, Hanson. This, this time, time around. around. Okay, Romeo Must Die. Uh, you also did four tracks on the soundtrack, which mm -hmm. is amazing. This mm -hmm. guy got Genuine, Joe. You worked with DMX, that must have been mad. Yeah, that was great. I've been a fan of his since his first album, so to finally get that done, it's just yeah. amazing. So is that the way you want to do it? You want to do, like, uh, act in the film as well as do the soundtrack? Um, I want to... I want to do films in the future where I don't do any music, and right. then I'd like to do it again. As long as you don't move into the Whitney Houston, like, soul food kind of wedding to exhale days, is, is that the films you're interested in? I'm interested in everything. Comedy, another, I do another action film, I do romance, whatever. Is there anyone you would like to star against, like you have a, a dream? Oh, Anthony Hopkins. Anthony I love Hopkins. Anthony yeah, he is Hopkins. He's fantastic. brilliant. He He's is American brilliant. now, by the way. Anyway, sorry, it's, it's, it's touchy for us. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much for coming by. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for, for having, having me. me. And uh, you're going to come uh, next time when, when your album comes out. Definitely. If you'll have me, I will be back. Definitely have you. Uh, that's it. Uh, Romeo Must Die is out all over Europe starting in June. Go watch it. It's going to be great. Deadly rocks. And so tomorrow, Ulrika will be here with the Love Song Top 10. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.